The Washington Post recently noted that interest in nuclear power has reignited in the wake of the war in Ukraine as European nations seek to reduce their reliance on Russian oil. More remarkable is the fact that the same left-leaning news outlet, which, like most left-leaning news outlets, has spent the last several decades decrying nuclear energy, published several days later letters to the editor arguing the time had come to embrace nuclear power. Indeed, after five decades, the Democrat Party changed its stance on nuclear energy with the release of a party platform that favors a technology-neutral approach to energy that includes all zero-carbon technologies including hydroelectric power, geothermal, existing and advanced nuclear, and carbon capture and storage. That statement was the first nod toward nuclear energy from the Democrats since 1972. It's about time. Nuclear power is safe reliable, and unmatched as a carbon-free source of electricity. The United States currently generates 20% of its electricity from nuclear fission, dwarfing idiosyncratic and spasmodic sources such as wind, 8.4% of U.S. electricity production, and solar, 2.3%. But that hasn't stopped the biggest names on the climate left from spending billions for a nuclear-free future. Those names include the Natural Resources Defense Council, the League of Conservation Voters, the Sierra Club, the Environmental Defense Fund, the Climate Reality Project, and dozens more. This list even includes the League of Women Voters and the National Parks Conservation Association. Collectively, they have a combined annual advocacy budget exceeding $1 billion. Admittedly, they spend the $1 billion advocating for more issues than just a nuclear-free future, but the anti-nuclear issue is a major issue for many of them. A lot of their loot has been coming from the nation's richest philanthropic foundations, such as the Ford, MacArthur, Hewlett, and Packard Foundations. And then there's the little matter of America's bird, the bald eagle. On April 6th, energy firm Next Era pleaded guilty to three federal charges of killing eagles with wind turbines. The plea included an $8 million fine, an agreement to pay almost $30,000 for future eagle kills, and a commitment to spend $27 million to prevent future kills. The penalty should have been worse. Prosecutors alleged Next Era's Raptor Slayers had executed 150 eagles in eight states. Next Era didn't act alone. The hypocritical environmentalist nonprofits implicitly endorse eagle killing because they oppose nuclear energy and promote massive build out of wind turbines. So even as the war in Europe is proving nuclear energy a safer, despot-free option, not to mention the fact that nuclear is cleaner, more efficient, less expensive, and less of a threat to America's most treasured wildlife, there are still leftist environmentalists fighting the future while hypocritically destroying the environment.